add here we can see right so we have to add the C over here to the complete design and drag this to the downwards and here we can see 131.7 cubic meters of downward complete is required and the bars of downward chain weight are 15, 9, 7, 1 of the bar weight is uh, required for this type of building right so now we will design the foundation for this so that we go to foundation design so we will to include only the include and drive level okay so we have to click on and start foundation so it will open right Here we have our subjects, right? So for that, now go to loads and factors, click on generate load combinations. Select Indian, click on generate load combinations, okay, generate load combinations, okay, and we select this one. Go to job setter, create a new job, select it as empty building, so isolated, so all code as Indian. And system is inside now. Go over here, include all this. Keep your arrow over here, so it will come down. Now, we will click on create job. So, here job is created. Now, you can see the isolated footing, the design parameters, so the boundary and reverse. Right? So, we have the boundary and reverse. So, you can change if you want. You can change the unit weights. So unit weights are the apartment values right so so they won't be changed after design right so the unit weight and some default weights will be the same okay so after that here we have the minimum bar spacing so the minimum bar is 50 and the maximum is 500 you can change if it is your minimum spacing should be with uh, within 100 or 200 we can specify over here right and the strength of concrete and the yield strength so which we want to use the yield strength so what is the minimum bar size you want to use so I mean, you can take as 8 so maximum is 42 so you can set this as default or you can if you keep this as default you won't be able to change anything so if you set this as no you will be able to modify any of the uh, required tabulation form and the required values okay we go to power and soil here we have the drain condition and undrained conditions so if we see uh, there will be some draining conditions like uh, the water pressure or impurability everything will be available for that for that we can select the bottom clear cover and the unit weight of soil and the soil bearing capacity and depth of soil above footing and the surcharge for loading how much it will take us add the surcharge and depth of water table, what will the cohesion, what is the undrained shear strength, so minimum percentage contact area. So again, like that we have seen in, in this one, convert and rebar are set as default. So here also we have the set as default, right? So here we can select this or no required to over solution, right? So this is the elevations of our floating, right? So here we have the, all the reinforcement, this is the column reinforcement and these are the floating reinforcement, right? So this area is totally filled with concrete. So below this we have the PCC. So on the PCC the reinforcement will be placed and after that, so we will be casting all our columns, right? So we see over here, we can see the loading and the movements. So how it's gonna act for this supports, right? So these are the numbers of our supports, right? After that, if you go to putting geometry, here we have the uniform and slope. We can calculate the dimensions, or else we can set the dimensions or fixed width or fixed length. 
So these will be the fixed ones. So no values will not be changed. If it is required to design above this maximum length, it won't be designed. Okay. So if you want to keep a fixed length or fixed width, so here we have option we can get it. So we we want calculate dimensions, right? According to our structure and column. So here we have the slope group footings, right? We can see the isolated as a stepped and sloped ones. So for that we have the thickness and the ends, maximum length, maximum width, maximum thickness, and slope and thickness. So what is the plane? What is the thickness? Uh, increments. And we have the offset about which direction, and here also we have default ones or not. Drawing. So now here we can see right. So the ASTT tension and bottom top and bottom is the covers. So these are the putting mark column number, column pedestal foundation cover. So these are the AST. Here we can see 8 mm, 8 mm, 12 mm. <coughs> so what are the stresses? You can see over here, right? So this is the plan, this is the plan, right? So and this is the elevation for the earth putting. You can see the detailed drawing also for this, right? So these are the detailed drawings. So 8 mm of 50 mm at the spacing. So 50 mm clear cover. So and this over here 8 mm is the 55 mm spacing. So pedestal dimensions 0 0.40. So like this. So we can save the drawing notes also. And we can also save the drawings as DWG files. So here we can see. If you click on save, it will be saved, right? So we have all the options. <coughs> so what are the arrow size, arrow head size, everything we can define. We go to GA drawing. So this is the GA drawing for the foundations, right? So here we have all the column sizes. Markings, everything you can get over here. So, here you can see the ABC markings. Okay, and if you go over here, here we have the one, two, three, four markings. Okay, so like this, we can also save this drawing and GA drawing options. Also, it is available. This is the calculation sheet. That we have seen over here, right? So now uh, we can see over here, and we can also print this report, click on print, or you can use the shortcut as Control P so that it will be appeared, right? So after that, so here we have also the reinforcement printing design, design reports, so the length, the reinforcement, and the spacing. Everything we can see over here, right? So this is our geometry. So we can save this model. Okay. Now we can also save this, and we can also print these reports also. What are the concrete design that we have got over here? We can get print out by selecting this one. So we are going to pass all the created pages of it. Click on OK, and save the file location. So it will be. Saved for all the locations. Okay, we go to modeling. So, this is the post fossil for our beams. So, all the nodes can take place. So, everything we can see over here, right? So, the moments, action, MZ, and point. So, like this, you can see all the animations. So, we see the animations over the stresses. 
and we also need animation stay set so we need to live load in the deep load live load we can see over here in select the node parts we can see the reactions for this displacements and here we got the reports click on output select all over this click on ok so we will be getting all the node displacement data right so after that we will get the beam displacement and then after we will be getting the blades also right we have so many the beams and stresses right so everything we can see over here right we see our modeling 3D. So this is the 3D model with lift and staircase, right? So if we go over here, so here we can see the T building over here like this, right? So we have seen the design thing, right? In the concrete designs, beam designs, and the column designs, right? If we get over here.